The Impressionists of Modern Art Sale brings together a spectacular array of works including masterpieces by Mondrian, Monet and Picasso and other works by leading artists of the late 19th and early 20th century. We're extremely excited to have the Monet Nymphaeus in the auction on the 23rd of June. Monet's great series of water lilies, which were executed en plein air in his garden in Giverny, represent one of the most important series of works by any artist of the Impressionist movement. We will also be offering an exceptional example of Mondrian's unique aesthetic, with composition in red, blue and grey. We're going to be presenting a group of four works from the collection of the late Ralph Wilson Jr. This includes a very rare work by Edouard Manet, two Monet paintings, and a work by Sizzlier. Sculpture in the Cell is represented by a really exquisite, small Giacometti standing figurine. This is a cold painted bronze. The Henry Moore sculpture is a reclining figure from 1957 that's got an absolutely exquisite patina. This one is actually quite alert and angular. The sale on the 23rd of June encompasses works by Picasso from almost every single decade of his life and in almost every media. This superb group is led by a phenomenal portrait of his lover, Mary Therese Walter, one of his most important models. Typically for the German Expressionist contingent, you've got paintings which really are incredibly vibrant. And uh, one example of that is a beautiful painting of the South Sea Islands by Emil Nolder. We've also got a 1924 painting by Beckmann, a still life work. And there's a work by Max Pechstein, and you can see the influence of the Fauves, certainly in the color. The cell includes a really beautiful Kandinsky painting from 1911. The structure of the painting shows the artist's quest for abstraction. We've got just really exceptional examples from so many different artistic movements in the course of the late 19th and early 20th century, something to satisfy every collector.